Redfin shuts home flipping business, lays off 13% of staff in slumping housing market. This is a Wall Street Journal story. They let off 13% of its staff on Wednesday and closed its home flipping unit, saying the operation was too expensive and too risky to continue. The Seattle-based company, which operates a real estate brokerage and home listing website, said the decisions were made because it's, it is predicting that the real estate market is going to be smaller next year. They're not even talking about 2022. 2023, smaller next year, and its home flipping business is losing money. It previously laid off 8% of its workforce in June of this year. The closure of Redfin's home flipping business, Redfin now follows Open Door Technologies, Inc., posting record losses last week. The biggest home flipping company sold too many homes for less than their purchase price. Tom, what is going on here? Give us an update on the market and layoffs. Well, first of all, Redfin's just the beginning on the real estate side. You're going to see Zillow. You're going to see others that are in real estate. They're going to be making adjustments. And the ones that made it easy for you to watch an internet seminar and buy real estate, you too can be a flipper. All those folks watching those seminars on YouTube, you know, and some of them are good, educational about real estate, but others, we know, they're scam artists. Well, those folks are the ones then going to Redfin and going to Zillow trying to start their home flipping business. And the real estate market is just not there. I think that's only part of the story because interest rates and layoffs are coming to that sector. It's beyond Zuckerberg. The rumor before the election was a thousand people would be laid off. And many people, including me, thought this is that at Facebook. At, at, uh, yeah, Facebook Meta. They said from a thousand to, and then they did 11,000? That's correct. The leak that was out before the election, they believe was inside and an intentional news leak to kind of soften the blow. And then they laid off 11,000, although Facebook was up in after hours trading just a scotch because what is the market like? Admissions of errors and then reduction of cost. And so there. The other thing that really surprised me is Stripe because, you know, Stripe is huge. They're bigger than American Express by value. And they're laying off 15 percent of their workforce. And I'm going to read you something. This was, I think, good leadership and value attainment. We're out there talking leadership and helping people grow their companies and giving them examples of how to do it. Here's a way to be honest with your people. So this is the leadership at Stripe laying off 15%. In making these headcount changes, Team Stripe might reasonably wonder whether Stripe's leadership made some errors of judgment. Well, we'll go further than that. In our view, we made two very consequential mistakes, not just errors of judgment, and we want to highlight them here. We were too optimistic about the near-term growth in 2022-23, and we grew our operating costs too quickly. We have to correct these. And that's leadership coming forward and just saying, hey, you know, I thought there was a party going on in the economy. I yeah. grew too quick, too much. But this is just the beginning. Stripes layoffs, Redfin layoffs, Zillow's reportedly coming, and then uh, Meta laying off more than they thought. This is just the beginning. This is the economic mm -hmm. uh, correction that we've been talking about, PBD. Yeah, makes sense. By the way, we got the uh, the great Dave Rubin here. If we can open up the is vault the and house? let him in. But go ahead. You were saying. Um, well, essentially what I think is happening is you talked about how it's been fake. Like the, everything that's happened over the last couple of years has been fake. Printing money and how money flows to the top, right? If you look at all these major asset classes, whether it's the Dow, whether it's the S&P, yep. the NASDAQ, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the list goes on and on and on. Basically what's happening is just it's reverting to where it was back in 2020, March of 2020. Now, there's, you can give us some case examples like Apple is up huge, like way above where it is 2020. And that has not reverted. But then you have companies like Facebook that have done the exact opposite. It's almost an inverted situation. But... All, everything you talk about being fake, there he is, baby. <laughs> everything you talk about printing money being fake, this is all basically what's happening right now. Now, and 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 it's great to see who was really having a lot of fake success and exactly. having real success. Fake success. And the man that just came in here, he's definitely having a lot of real, real success. success. Speaking of fake success. It's, it's the <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you on. What's up, baby? Uh, it's fantastic to have Dave on here. Uh, but by, by the way, while to stay on the story before yeah. we wrap it up, and I want to go straight to Dave's uh, commentary and thoughts on what happened uh, uh, yesterday. So Greg uh, uh, Scher, whom I had dinner with last night, he was at mm -hmm. the office here. He, uh, uh, we were talking about FTX. Yeah. So FTX goes from a $32 billion company to $16 billion company to Binance says, yeah, we'll give you a billion dollars to help you bail yourself out. And then they changed their minds and they said, no, we're not giving you the billion dollars. And so this is a company that could potentially go from 32 billion to 16 billion 
to zero wow. in no time. And the founder gave $39 million to Democratic super PACs. And one of the other executives that owns a lot of shares in the company gave $19 million to Republican super PACs. That's Ryan Salami that gave uh, $19 million. Great last name. So this is what's taking place with this company. Venture funds invested around $2 billion into the company, most recently at a $32 billion valuation without a single board seat in return. Did you hear what I just wow. said? Tom, $2 billion, $32 billion valuation with zero board seats in return. And these are not lame people that don't know how to negotiate board seats. In fact, it's unclear if, if FTX even has a board of directors, audit committee, CFO, chief compliance officer. Instead, it just seems to have a, some sort of VC advisory committee. Here's who was involved. FTX backers include Sequoia, which once sued Binance for unrelated reasons. Mm. Paradigm, SoftBank, Tiger Global, Bond, BlackRock, Lightspeed, Insight Partners, Ribbit Capital, Race Capital, all of these guys invested. And in, in the point of this article is saying that at the very least, the FTA experience will put a major chill on venture investments in crypto, even in unaffected areas like decentralized finance. If FTX can go from $32 billion to zero, maybe, in just 36 hours, Who's to say the same can't happen elsewhere? Why would LPs take the chance? This is a very, very legit big hit to the crypto community. Think about this. So $32 billion valuation. I give you a billion dollars investment. Now you're worth $33 billion because you got my cash. I only own one thirty-third. You think of it that way. And so... If I want to triple my money, that thing's got to be worth $100 billion someday. And so there was apparently feelings that there is more than just frothiness in the, mo in the market. You know what I mean? This was, a, this was a root beer shaken up, and then you open it in a crowded room. I mean, this is huge. All over your but, face now. All yeah, over. Yeah, all over everything. But yeah. think about that, all Pat, and, because... So you make investments bad. Bad visual for Tom, but <laughs> go ahead. We're listening. <laughs> so, no, 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 don't no, no, don't no, get no. distracted. Stay no, no, focused. No, 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 this no, is Adam's no, no, distracting. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I know. But think about that. Yeah. You, you make angel investments, and you make <clears throat> more than angel investments, serious investments. Would you invest in something where you've got one thirty-third of it? It doesn't and excite. A, and a tripling, just to triple your money or double your money, the thing's got to be worth $66 billion. That, that's that's when you know. That's when you know when, when people are trying to be that greedy that late. Last year at Super Bowl. The whole Super Bowl was about crypto. Yeah. All you have to say is, who won the Super Bowl last year? Crypto. I don't know who won the Super Bowl. L.A. Rams. I can tell you crypto won. And, you know, by the way, FTX, Tom Brady's a part of it. Giselle's a part of it. You know how many celebrities are a part of it? Left and right people were involved in this. Uh, but, uh, but that's a whole different conversation on what's taking place. I know a lot of guys that are in the crypto community who's... They put 95% of their savings in it. Like, oh, I'm talking 95% of oh their savings God. in it. And they're doing Uber right now, late at night, because... Pat, you weren't supposed to bring it up. I didn't want so, to do it. But I'm sorry. But I, listen, props to your 4.9 star on Uber. Thank you. You got to be proud of that. I, I have, you're, I have you're, candy you're in very, the car. Listen, at least I'm going to give you the shout-out. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe Future Looks Bright. If you believe Future Looks Bright, get your latest Future Looks Bright hat of value Tamen. It says Future Looks Bright here. Future Looks Bright here. We got them in white. We got them in black. We got them in red. Our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people were in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying future looks bright. To order your future looks bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.